Jeffrey Holroyd arrived at the Holy Trinity Church in Gosport almost by accident around 10 years ago. He was asked to take charge of a restoration project to see the 300-year-old organ given a new lease of life. Thanks to a grant of £167,000 from the Heritage Lottery Fund and another 40000 raised by members of the church, the project has been a success and the organ very much restored to its former glory. Geoffrey explained the significance of the instrument and its link to arguably Britain's most famous Baroque composer. Historically it's interesting because it was built by Abraham Jordan for the Duke of Chandos, who was the wealthiest man in Britain in the Cannon Spark estate, who employed Handel as a young man as his composer in residence. So that's the Handel link. The organ was built for Handel to play his music on when he worked for the Duke. It was important to restore it, partly because of its historical significance, but also because it happens to make an incredibly lovely sound. It's lovely pipework in a lovely building. Everybody who plays it said, that is just a wonderful organ. From a musical point of view, it also holds a rare commodity in terms of its capabilities as an instrument. There are eight complete ranks of pipes that are from the Jordan organ that came here that Handel had played, distributed between two manuals. So you can actually play a two-manual organ, which is 300 years old, within the much bigger instrument that was built by Hill in 1865 and again 1897. So you've really got two organs at the price of one. With the organ now restored to full working order, it is set to remain a national treasure for generations of churchgoers for years to come. Ben Treppis, for That Solent.